Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time we started the preparations for the heist of Clockworks Wings. We opened up the palace grounds to Bentley and Murray. We got ourselves a nice little date with Carmelita for the heist itself, and we also killed two chopper pilots that were just doing their jobs in trying to defend the skies above the palace. Yeah, that one's kind of on Bentley for that. As I said, he's got a bloodthirsty streak to him. Tonight, we're going to be heading off with Bentley this time. I want to start with Bentley because he's got a pretty easy job. Slide's got two jobs associated with him. However, one will take us so far out of the way that it's going to take forever for us to get back to the safe house. So I feel like we're going to end off with Slide this time. So what we're going to do is we are going to waddle Bentley's little legs over to the guest house. And I am also going to get the size destabilizer on Bentley right there. The size destabilizer is basically... You, you make your crossbow very green. Smack a guard. He gets very... Uh, not... Why did he not get small? What the hell? Oh, I think I know why. It w affected the... It affected the... Barrel that was next to Bentley, and that took away the size of the stabilizer, and it didn't register for the guard. But yeah, it makes guards small, and it actually makes them a lot weaker to Bentley's attack, so even like a couple swings from the crossbow will take him out. I still don't recommend it because, you know, Bentley's crossbow attack is not really the best to use in this game. It's honestly, just best to use him as a ranged character and then blow him up with bombs. Bentley, what's your status? I am in position with the RC chopper. All systems are go to neutralize their surface-to-air defenses. We're going to need free reign of the sky during the heist. Well, be careful. Chopper parts aren't cheap. Hostile has been uh, did that thing just drive out of like a, a room here in the guest house? Because I think that thing just came out of like a wall or something. If you lose track of the jeep, I'll project a holographic targeting arrow. Follow it back into the action. All right, just gonna start dropping bombs on him. Pretty easy to take care of. It's not actually that strong of a thing to fight. It will start shooting missiles at you. What you need to do is just do a hard turn, and the missile will overshoot you, and it is basically the only way to avoid them. It's not that hard, hard of a challenge to do. Just keep falling in, dropping bombs on these poor guards' heads. Again, they're just trying to do their job and protect the grounds and the guests at the palace. But nope, it's up to us to murder these guys violently. Oh, that thing was still chasing me? And we're done. Nice flight, partner. That jeep's out of commission and we'll have clear skies for the heist. I like that Bentley's RC chopper is just a model of his head. You, like, it actually does have his glasses. It's got his camo eyebrows. It's it's really good. Uh, let's see what you got. You got nothing. And you got nothing as well. Right, we'll take him out. All right, he doesn't hear anything. Yep. Back into the safe house with Bentley. Alright, now that we're back here with Bentley, let's swap over to Sly. Now, I want to do the Elephant Rampage mission first. Boardroom Brawl, as I said before with Bentley, is the mission that will throw us way out of the way once we complete it. So it's best to save that for last so that way we can just immediately go to the briefing afterwards. Oh, you, I thought you had, like, a shiny in your pocket. How dare you deceive me! Let's see. And it's located right there. Sly, we need to find a way to get Rajan's prize elephants out of their pen! I don't know, Bentley. That door looks pretty heavy. Maybe I can crawl on that hole under the steps and find an alternate route. All right, pretty easy. I don't know about you, but I don't think this area is big enough to hold elephants, A, or is strong enough to support elephants with just a few things of wooden pegs. Wow, 
You sure look spooked. A job well done, Sly. Now comes the hard part. I need you to snatch the headdress jewels worn by both elephants. The jewels are firmly embedded, so keep whacking at them with your cane to knock one loose. I'll need to make use of the rooftops to get to one of the elephants' backs, but it shouldn't be a problem. Easier said than done, Sly. Ooh, what the? Okay, I don't know what happened to that guy. I think he bounced off that and then jumped right into the river. But who knows? I'm just gonna get these guys off my back. So, that first one was pretty easy to get. You just jump on their backs and you just whack at these things with the cane. Every time now you try to go for one of the headdress jewels, even with the other elephant, it's going to try and smack you off its back with its trunk. But they're not that hard to avoid. You just need to know the right timing for your jumps. One more for good measure. Or not. Alright, fine. Uh, let's just wait for him to come back around this way. The ground floor is going to be covered in just small guards, so it's best to try and keep your uh, self to the rooftops A and B. Uh, just do your best to avoid them. You got all the jewels on that elephant. Now focus on the right. other one. Pretty easy. When you get onto the elephant, the guards actually won't be able to get you, so you're kind of safe with them. All you have to do is worry about that trunk. And also be careful with that trunk because sometimes it's been known to knock people off and knock them like all around the palace grounds. Although I probably could take out a guard to get some health. That elephant actually kind of messed me up quite a bit. There we go. Alright, final jewels should not be too hard to get. Thankfully for these elephants, they don't actually uh, run around in areas that you can't easily get to. Like, the elephants won't uh, go, like, up into that one area with all the tree branches and such, or it won't go down by the bridge that leads to the guest house, so they're pretty easy to find. But with that, we've gotten all the gems. Again, that place does not look big enough to hold those two elephants. That's or strong it. enough. With these jewels, I can make an ultra hard radial saw for the heist. Alright, and with that job complete, let's head back behind the palace. Because not only is that the final job for Sly here, but that is also the location of the safe and the final clue bottle that I was holding off on. Okay, I'm actually going to go this way just so I don't accidentally start the job. Let's go back down this way. Sneak on over here. Go by the treasure pedestal. Oh, it's like, get over there. There we go. And there is our final clue bottle. Yeah, it immediately kicks you right into there, so it's best to come at it this way if you don't have the clue bottle already. Murray's rotund features prevent him from fitting through the drain pipe, so we'll need you to unlock the vault room from the inside. I've heard through a reliable source that the guards keep the vault combination written beneath one of their break tables. So, you want me to crawl under each till I find it? That's the idea. Alright, easy enough. Also, like this nice, like, uh, warm hot pool that we're chilling in. The way the weather has been lately, it really would be welcomed. I don't see any code. Try another table, it's here somewhere. Attention, vault room guards. Allow no guest entry to the inner workings of the palace. This party is supposed to be legitimate, and I don't want my flawless reputation being spoiled by some flunky who doesn't know how to lock a door. This spice trade is dangerous work, particularly for those who anger me. All right, 
Come on, buddy. Go around. Or not. Keep coming this way, I guess. Alright, that's all the guards here. No nope, code nothing here. there. I think it's always like the final uh, desk you go under. This table doesn't have the code. Or maybe it's always the one that's on the far side. I think it might be the latter instead of the former. This is it. Fantastic. Now type the code into the vault's laser door entrance. I never actually noticed this thing was right here. Huh. Now, you, thankfully, you don't actually need to memorize what that code is. It automatically puts it in, so you're good. Nice work. Make your way to the security lockdown switch and let it be in Murray. All right, first things first, though. I'm going to ransack this place because there is a lot of money around here. Briefcases. Unfortunately, those don't carry a lot of money on them, surprisingly. And let's go for the true treasure in here. I'd love to see the look on Rajan's face when he finds this vault empty. The code should be 857. So this is a very interesting move. The Insanity Strike move will allow you to basically hit a guard, it confuses them, and they will attack any other guards. It's a one-use item, though, because you need to, you know, re-equip it with your cane every time you use it. Duh. But it, it's a fun thing, and you know what, I'm actually going to have it set to go, because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting into a lot of fights pretty soon. I wonder if it actually still registers after this cutscene. Oh, yep, it's still there. Thanks for breaking us in, pal. The Murray approves. Let's get down to brass tacks. I need to hack both the vault room computers to get control of the electronic winch above the ballroom. So what are me and Sly here for? The second I enter their servers, they'll be on to us. You guys need to work together to keep the thugs off my back. You and me, pal, side by side. The Murray knows no fear. And now you thought you were playing a slide during the, the okay. entirety of this I'm mission? In. Well, guess what? Hacking the level six barrier. You actually get to play as Murray this time. I guess they really felt like they really need to give Murray something more to do, so they let you play as him during this brawl section. Take out Rajan's throne. It looks too nice. Uh oh. Almost there. Got it. Moving on to the level five system. Also, you gotta ad admire like the setup for this like vault area. It's like some big legion of doom setup he has. Like he's got like a, a computer with the world uh spinning around it. He's got like guards everywhere. He's got a throne it in front of like a, a pit of fire. Okay, I'm close. He basically became a Bond villain, it seems. Heck, this entire level just screams like some kind of James Bond-esque uh, scenario. All right, come on, you're nothing, you're nothing. See, now you're technically nothing. All right, you do that, Benley. Oh yeah, that's something I never actually noted about the monkey guards. Uh, they actually will carry different weapons with them. Some will carry like spears with pointy ends. However, others will carry like uh, torches around that they will breathe fire on any of the members of the gang that they attack. It's a bit more of an, an annoying attack, however, they got a bit longer of a charge up, so it's potato potato to be to be honest. 
Also, they only attack it right in front of them instead of like the like sweeping attack all around them that the other uh, guards do. So they're not really that annoying. Like, like see, that's how his attack goes. So yeah, it's not too bad. Murray, what is? Are you? Why does Murray look all like dirty and beat up? Ooh, just barely. This is tense. I can taste it. Ah, I thought his hands could still be on fire. I've got control of the witch. Thanks for the backup, guys. No problem. Me and the big guy had it covered. Murray. Let's hook up the direct feed and get out of here while the coast is clear. And yeah, if you once again, if you did not uh, do any of the other missions and didn't end it off here, you actually had to sneak your way back out of the vault area. Okay, synchronize your watches. This heist is going to take extreme precision. Here's the plan. I'll start things off by demolishing the palace's main bridge. That should cut off reinforcements from the guest house and hopefully distract the ballroom guards standing watch over the clockwork wings. Sly will then take Carmelita up on her offer for a dance, and while the crowd is transfixed by their tango, Murray will lower into the ballroom on the electronic winch. Once down, he'll cut the wings free and then winch back up for an exit. Murray should then make his way out of the palace. I'll cover his exit with the RC chopper. Once he's past the drawbridge, we're home free.